Hi, my name is Thomas, Education Manager for Framacy Indonesia. And today I'd like to share with you one of the trend look from the uh, Framacy uh, Spring Summer 2020 collection. And this is the look called Bukalika and it's from the Trend Series Energy Proposal Look 3. Okay, and let's get started. Isolate the front triangle joining the vertex and the end of the eyebrow arc. Trace a line from the vertex to the tip of the ears. And on both left and right hand side, isolate a 2 cm rectangular section above the ear. And isolate the crown. And on the section below, trace a reverse U shape uh, line starting 3 cm above the corner of the nape and passing through the occipital bone. Create a reverse triangle in the center of the section. Comb the hair in natural fall and you can actually scratch it with a razor or you can use your scissors by performing deep point cut. Okay, comb the entire section down in natural fall and while making vertical partings, okay, cut the length of the guide section outwards keeping the hair longer and longer. So basically, we have a triangle line from the mid to the nape corner is a short to long line. Okay, now making vertical subsections perpendicular to growth, which is on base, cut high graduation using the deep point cut technique and having the parameter as a reference. Okay, perpendicular to growth and using the parameter as a reference. Okay, repeat the same procedure on the other side. Okay, next, having the parameter underneath the part line as a reference. Cut high graduation using the deep point cut technique while making vertical subsection perpendicular to growth which is on base. So take a vertical section perpendicular to growth which is on base and do a deep point cut As you move towards the side subsection, okay, over direct to the previous section, creating extra length and weight on the sides. So over direct to the previous section, same thing and do a deep point cut. Okay, for the last section here, same thing over direct to the previous section and do a deep point cut. Repeat the same for the other side. Now for the crown, okay, while making vertical parting perpendicular to growth, cut using the chipping cut technique and keeping your fingers parallel 
to the head, which is perpendicular to growth on base. And we will take radical parting perpendicular to growth and using the chipping cut technique. Okay, perpendicular to growth, which is on base. Keeping our fingers parallel to the head. Repeat the same for the other side. While making vertical partings perpendicular to growth, cut using the chipping cut technique and keeping your fingers parallel to the head. Comb the hair in natural fall and you can either cut it with a razor or with your scissors. Okay. Find the length from the mustard and connect to the front. Here is shown using a triangle line. Next, while making radical parting, comb the hair on the back part line and cut to the length found at the vertex using the chipping cut technique. Okay. Using the length found at the vertex as a guide. Using the chipping cut technique. Okay, subsequent section over direct to the previous section. Same thing using the chipping cut technique. Okay, over direct to the previous section and chipping technique using the guide at the vertex repeat the same procedure for the other side using the guide at the vertex and chipping cut technique As for the fringe, create an equilateral triangle of 3 cm at the center of the front hairline and cut to the bridge of the nose with the butterfly technique. Okay, comb the entire section on the face and you can actually cut your first guide on the sides to below the cheekbone and you can either use a razor or your scissors to join the line together. So you are creating a short to long line on the fringe and by using deep point cut if you're using a scissors. Okay, now next 
taking horizontal parting and connect the fringe to the vertex and remove the excess width or excess length with the chipping cut technique. Do not worry about excess length or volume or weight. You can always refine your haircut after when you blow dry. So joining the fringe to the vertex and remove any excess length. Okay, now let's do the blow drawing. Okay, now we can start to texturize the sides, taking front diagonal subsection and remove unnecessary weight from the haircut. Okay, this is uh, more towards a visual part, which you need to uh, take a look at whichever is excess volume, where the excess volume is and um, how much softness do you want to create. You can either use with your scissors or you can actually use with uh, blending shears which is uh, what we call a thinning scissors. Okay, so visually look for any excess volume or weights that you want to remove so that you can create uh, more softness for this hairstyle. So check throughout your haircut for any hard lines or any part that you might need to blend through. Okay, feel for excess weight and any hard lines that you want to blend in. So work on the fringe, remove the hard line and create some softness necessary if it's necessary okay so this is my finished haircut for this look thank you